Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm Elise Mitchell. And I'm AJ Homix. Today is Friday, September 10th, 2021. This week, we will be featuring an interview with our school principal, student options on the start of school, and a back to school video. Do you like using technology? Do you want to get together with your friends to enjoy technology? Tech Club might just be the place for you. Tech Club will be starting on Monday, September 20th. We will meet every Monday and Tuesday throughout the school year. We meet right after school until 325 in the computer lab. For now, you will need to have your own transportation home. You must stop by the computer lab to sign up. Due to space and safety, there are a limited number of available spaces. See Mrs. McNichol with any questions. Here's an announcement from our nutrition director, Ms. Sporg. All school meals will be free this school year. They are paid for by the USDA or U.S. Department of Agriculture. That includes breakfast, snack, and lunch. Help support the Hampton PTA with their annual mom sale. Whether for you, a family member, or friend, spread the color and joy this fall. Portion of the proceeds will be given to the Hampton PTA to allow us to provide free events enrichment opportunities, and hybrid learning support for our schools. All orders are being handled electronically. If you would rather send a check or have any questions, please email us at hamptonnewhampshirepta at gmail.com. Are you interested in photographing and graphing design? If so, Yearbook Club is for you. There will be a meeting any, for anyone interested in joining the yearbook club this year on Monday after school in room 322 in Mr. Doherty's room. Lunch will be hot dog on a bun, creamy coleslaw, chips or sun butter and jelly, veggie, fruit and milk. Wednesday, September 15 is Picture Day. Bring your smiles. We are very excited to have a new Shark News team with many new students. Take a look at our members. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today I'm here with Mr. O'Connor. So, Mr. O'Connor, how do you think the year's going so far? Well, we've, this is the sixth day of school, so and we haven't had a full week. Next week is our first full week, but off to a good start. I mean, it's an unusual circumstance. It's really the first full year of school we've had in, in a year and a half. So um, it's new to everybody, and I think everybody's trying to figure their way through it. Yeah, and what do you want kids to know about COVID? Well, again, it, it, it's real. Um, it's a virus, and you know most of the adults here have been vaccinated. The students who are under 12 haven't, and even some that are above 12 haven't. So we need to keep each other safe, and we have levels of barriers. The, the first and the best barrier is the social distancing or physical distancing. We I mean, should always be at least three to six feet apart. Your mask is really important, okay? Um, that's going to keep the germs and the, um, and the virus away from us. And then one thing we, we did last year and we did you know, pretty well is make sure we wash our hands. I think we've kind of forgotten that. Um, I think if we do that, we're going to get back to some normalcy. We're moving to integrated arts classes. That's gone pretty well. But again, um, our goal is to return normally. So we're practicing right now um, among teams to move you among your core classes. But it's every boy and girl and every adult's responsibility to keep each other safe. And if we do that, we're going to be fine. Thank you so much for being on Shark News. You're welcome. Thank you. Now that we have started the 2021 to 2022 school year, we caught up with some students and asked what they thought about being back in school. Check it out. I like being back to school because I think it's a great experience for everybody. Just be around their friends and walking to classrooms is kind of better than last year. I think that being back in school is great because you get to see your friends, be on the bus, and learn, and yeah. I think it's great because we get to experience more of the middle school, 
and more of like what it's like to be in middle school and more responsible. I like being back to school because you get to see your friends and you can um, get help like doing your work in school with teachers. Well, I like coming back to school. Like I like being able to like move around and the, not being stuck in one room all day, every day. The whole time we're at school, it's the ske- the new schedule is pretty nice too. It's nice to, like I said, it's nice to be able to move around, go upstairs, downstairs. I get to see all my friends that I didn't really get to see over the summer. And I really like all my teachers and my schedule. I also like seeing all my friends that I haven't seen in the summer and the schedules that I have have been working out really nice, how the IAs are around lunch. I like waking up at 6 a.m. every morning for school. (laughs) Right now, and we can move around freely in different classes. Um, The best part is being able to see my friends and having a great time and switching classes is also very fun. I think being in school is pretty fun. You get to be with your friends, uh, you get to learn, and that's the most exciting part. Um, being back in school is okay. I get to see all my friends again, and it does kind of remind me of sixth grade, which honestly was a good year, so it's not that bad. I love being back in school because it helps me feel like life's getting back to normal. Celebrating her birthday today is Estelle Westergren. Celebrating on Saturday is Liam Peters. Happy birthday, Estelle and Liam. Here's some back to school facts of the day. In 1903, Crayola started making prints. They originally only came in eight colors blue, black, brown, green, orange, red, violet, and yellow. Now Crayola will make 120 different colors. By the time a child turns 10 years old, it is believed that they have worn down 730 crayons. In another back to school fact, on average, a single pencil can be sharpened 17 times and write 45,000 words. Pencils can write in space with zero gravity, underwater, and upside down. It is believed that a single pencil can draw a line 35 miles long. At thought of the day, be kind whenever it is possible. It is always possible. Today, which is Friday, there will be some clouds in the morning that will give way to mainly sunny skies for the afternoon, and it's 74 degrees. Um, Tomorrow, which is Saturday, it will be 75 degrees and sunny. And on Sunday, it will be 82 degrees and there will be abundant sunshine. On Monday, there will be partly cloudy skies at a temperature of 75 degrees. And on Tuesday, again, there will be partly cloudy skies, except at um, this time 69 degrees. We have three weather photos this week. Sunrise in Florida, set by set in by Mrs. Strong and Boar's Head Fog by Mrs. Strong. We also have September Sunrise by Mrs. Health. Thank you for these weather photos. You can email your fa- fall weather photos to sharknews at sau90.org. And remember, stay sunny side up. And now it's time for your daily joke. What did the science book say to the math book? I don't know. What did he say? Man, you've got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, or s- before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind? Is it true? And is it necessary? And remember the academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. And respect yourself and others. Go, Go out, out there and make, make it a great day. day.